Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Deepak here. Today I will going to explain you about several activities or how we can create task, delete task, then extracting the task list and updating the task in Rake using UiPath. So this is the automation process or we can automate these tasks or activity and it will help us to save our time for performing these type of activity. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing both bell icon for more updates. Here we begin with actual content of break. So we have already established the connection means we have already integrated with Rick applications. Now you can see once we will click on the test connection, our connection is established. If you are looking for integrating with your Rick application, please watch my previous session. I will also mention in the description tab. So for complete integration, you can refer from there. And in this session, I will perform or do some operation using this activity. So let me drag and drop get task list. So if you want to extract a task list from your Wix application just like uh, this. So let me jump to Rick login and inside the login your page is up here inside the page you can create n number of tasks totally depends on your requirement so if you can see here i have already created some of the tasks based on my requirement but we'll add some more tasks depending on our requirement so you can see here two tasks or three tasks is available here for manually we need to go to the rick application and create the task but we can directly do that with the help of Rick application. Let me show you how we can extract task list. Just click on test search command and from the information tab you can select here that is created date format and task id and go to save once it is saved reopen it and run this select command you are able to see several tasks are available inside your login credential so as you can see here i have already added three of the tasks by yesterday itself so if i want to update these tasks for the future purpose we will do that or perform some other operation based on our requirement. So by this way, we can extract the task and uh, get the data as per your requirement. So inside the command, you can also see several other operations also available. Just have to enter the detail and extract the detail from your login credential. So let me close this and use some other activity like adding the task. For adding the task, we will need the folder location. So this is the ID which we have saw over there and we will also use update task. So let me enter this and add the task inside this. Just click on this. Copy and paste the data or folder ID click on OK and click on configure parameter. So inside the configure parameter you can add it by using add parameter or if you want to get mandatory parameters just click on this you will see the only one mandatory parameter is available that is title. You can also add some more details like description, title and other fields it's totally dependent on your requirement. So let me close this and add the detail here. You 
UI path task data. So in description tab, I'm going to add this is description added automatically using UI path. Cool. Next, once I will click on the run command, it will add the task and we can copy this task ID so that we will use it for further. Now, once I will refresh the page, you can see here your part task data is new added task and the name you can one second you are part task data is the title name and inside the contain you can do that if you want to revert your task just click on revert command that created task will be rolled back so once you'll click on the revert command your task is no more available inside your login credentials so i want to keep that task detail because I'm going to use some other activities like update task. Here, once you click on this, you're able to see the other details like your description. You can also add some other contain totally based on your requirement. So here, let's update the task. For updating the task, we will need ID. So the task ID which we have generated here, same ID, we will copy and paste it to here and we will update the title name. So here, get mandatory parameter. I am going to update UI path updated task. You can also update some other fields and that field details you will get it from here get example data and there's a comment you can see here that that is a type of component or data you can insert while updating i want to just update this so i will run the command and my task will be updated you can see here several other details are also available here you will find the parent id from the parent id you can get your task or folder location or folder ID where you want to do that. So by this way, we can update the task. If any point of time, if you want to delete this task, so let me show you how we will delete that. I am deleting other activities. So copy, it's very simple, copy and paste your task ID here and click on ok just I have to save save all so once you save all and run the command once the execution is completed the created task will no more available in the list so let's wait for the execution then we'll see the result now execution is completed Let's see. Now you can see here. Let me refresh it again for you. The task which we have added or which we want to delete it, the same task is no more available inside the folder. So by this way, we can extract, add, update and delete the task as per our requirement. So let's recap this. We have started with extracting tasks from Rick account and we found that several tasks is available then we have performed several other operation like adding the task we have added one task and next point we have updated the task and finally we have deleted the task so if by mistake we have added a new task and we want to delete it we can delete it by this way so this is all about the performing operation inside the big 
by using your path hope you understand it if you have any queries or comment please comment in the comment section so that i will check and reward with the resolution and most important part if you really like this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you